Hello everyone, Amod here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and this will be continuation of Race Assure end-to-end -end framework playlist video series. So in the last video, I have used the data faker that is Java faker API to generate the random data for our API, which you can see here. If you see the example here, you can see that I have used the method directly from the faker API in this method but when you think about the framework so in framework we should add some utilities which can help others to generate the random data as well means i am aware of the data faker that's why i use this method but someone may be not aware of this api so let me go to my project and let me add a new package i think package is already there the it is called utils and it is inside the src main java why because these utilities are common these utilities are not specific to any api project so let me add one new class and i can name it as like random data generator in this class what i can do i can create credible methods like public static string get random first name and for this i i need to use the faker api so let me create an instance of faker class so what i'm going to do i will create a public static faker faker equal to new faker right and please note it is coming from data faker a package so now what i need to do i can use return faker dot name dot first name similarly i can do for the last name and full name as well so let me simply copy and paste it twice and let me change instead of first name it will be last name and here it will be full name okay so to generate the first name last name and full name i created three methods suppose if i need to create some random city name country name or pin code zip code anything else so i need to create new methods so how many methods will add like this this is not a good approach let's think what we can do so that we need to get only one method and it will serve all the purposes so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to take the advantage of enum so let me go to project again in the same utils package i'm not going to create a new enum and i will name it as like random data types or type names and it will be enum so what i'm going to do here inside this i'm going to add the constant like first name last name full name okay and instead of, instead of creating multiple methods what i'm going to do let me copy this method and paste it here and i will name it like get random data for okay and here I can accept one argument of data type, okay, which I created just now enum. So random data type names and I will maybe data types names. And here instead of using this individual methods, I will use the switch case. Switch data type names and here let me create the case, case first name. Here I will do the return or let me copy it from here. okay same thing goes for last name okay so i if i just need to copy this again and you can paste it here now case full name so you can see here instead of creating multiple methods we just need to have one method only similarly we can add more types also maybe country then city name so here again we can have new cases so case country and case city name so let me quickly add those methods instead of name it will be address and instead of instead of full name it will be country name only country and then for city return faker dot address dot city name okay let me add one default also and it will return empty okay or you can have return some, you can put some error message also like this type of random data type name is not available okay let me put that one only so instead of directly calling those methods here so let me use the methods whatever i just created in my utils package 
so for the first name i will simply replace it with random data generator dot get random data for and simply use the random data type names dot first name okay you can see how how much convenient it will be if someone is new to faker or data faker api they can call this method they no need to worry about the how the data faker or java faker is working similarly goes for country name also and same thing i can do for the city name as well similarly we can create the utility methods for generating the random number and the random alphabets as well for that simply we can come here and we can add method like public static string get random number and we can take one argument like how what should be the size or what should be the length of that number and again you can use the faker api faker dot number dot digit and you can pass the size or count okay let me put the count only this is much better similarly we can put the methods for generating the random alphabets or alpha numeric of different sizes so maybe public static string get random alphabets okay and again i would put the int size here and i can use the random string utils from the apache common library here we have method like random alphabetic and i can push the count okay and let me just change the name so let me just update the payload here instead of using the faker directly i will use the random data generator dot get random number and i can i can pass the size as 10 similarly for the alphabet also i use the random data generator the method to generate the random alphabet let me copy and paste for remaining even we can have one method to generate the website as well so let me put the that method again here only like public static get random website name and let me copy this code from here and put it there so let me replace this method as well there so let me copy the name and just call it random data generator dot then again we are left with one method where we are generating a number between two given minimum and maximum so let me add that method get random number i can put minimum and maximum and here random number i can call i think what is the method name number between so let me pass this as integer only and i can use this method in the payloads now for the established field we need to pass some year right so here we are hard coding 2020 so what you can do again i am going to add one more utility utility class and this utility i will name it as date utils so inside this date utils i am going to add a new method which will give me the current year so i can add a method like public static int get current year and we will use the local date local date dot now get here okay so i will use this method to get the current year inside this payload so instead of 2020 hard coded value i use the date utils and let me run the program again so i simply create a utilities method so that anyone can use those methods and that should be a part of framework okay we can see it is passed so there is no need to create an instance of faker here you can remove this one so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and save the others thank you everyone